Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how you can more efficiently use Dashboard Real Estate by allowing the user to control the information that's important to them through the use of parameter controls. This dashboard that you see here is about U.S. universities. and This is where we're going to focus. Right now, the information being displayed is the average debt of graduates. You could change it to average in-state tuition or average out-of-state tuition. But maybe your user wants to see how that breaks out by school dimension, private, public, or undeclared, or by program duration. All that information is immediately available on one worksheet. Let me show you how it's done. We've expanded it out, and now we're going to go to the worksheet you're going to see that there's the two parameters and these are key so let's take a look at them first is the dimension select dimension you have this the name it is a string type and it's a list here we have the list school type work experience program target duration and then you'll see here all or dimension no dimension these don't have to be the same this is what's being displayed this is the field that we're going to use later on Let's also take a look at metric. Select the metric. Same type of thing. These don't have to be the same name. These are, this is also a string. Out-of-state tuition, in-state tuition, debt, and monthly per minority percentage. Okay. It's pretty simple. There's one pill under uh, columns and another under rows. Let's take a look at the chosen dimension. Here we go. Selecting select dimension. That's the parameter control. And based on what that value is, work experience, school type, program target duration, that would tell this formula what field to pull in. You'll notice that there's also this else. Um, so we don't have the all or the no dimension. We've got anything else. No dimension selected. So that was what we showed first. Combines everything together and nothing gets split out. I'll show you real quick. Selecting no dimension, everything goes back to the average. Now, let's take a look at the measure. Very similar. We've got our parameter, select metric, and then we've got what that value is, and then we also have the field or the value that it pulls in. Now, let me show you something really quick. You see here we have the out of state tuition in-state tuition, debt. These are all dollars. When we pull in the minority percentage, things look a little screwy. That's because this field, this chosen measures, has a number format assigned to it. So regardless of what the underlying field is that's getting pulled in, it automatically inherits this new number format. So it's important if you're going to use this tool, this method, that you keep the numbering all the same, either all in dollars, all in percentages, all in whole numbers, or the axis is going to look a little strange. The other thing that's important to point out is how do we get this minority percentage up here so that it, it changes each time so you're sure or you know what you're looking at. Let's go to edit title. We got our information here, college information, and then you can see that we've inserted the parameter value here. Come under the insert, down here, parameter select metric. It's that easy. You can use the same methodology if you wanted to change the coloring or um, other dimensions or other aspects. So here's the graph again. Let me show you another way that this can be applied. Here's another graph. This has three different types of rents. This is average rent. Pasture land, irrigated cropland, and non-irrigated irrigated cropland. So by selecting that, it changes the map. It's all one map, and it's pulling in the value. Let me show you. Here's the map. Longitude, latitude. It's this value right here, sum visible. 
This is going to look just like what we saw on the college chart. The one difference is that the parameter was a value, had a value as an integer, and based on that value was pulling over different, different fields. And because that is just a little bit different, let me pull that open for you. You can see here, this is what's displayed, and here's the value. The data type is float. So, I mean, if you had it as string, you could have the same words over or something that's a little more useful. The benefit of having the string and the words over here is that you can, um, when you're writing your if-then statements, it makes it a little bit easier to, to follow along. You might keep the value if you were showing a percentage, a target percentage, then you could use that value in your formula as well. There you go. Great way to allow the user to show the information that they want. And it's all on one chart. You don't have to create multiple charts. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and that you'll subscribe or leave a comment. And if there's something you'd rather see, let me know. Thanks.